am Angel, I'm from Dubbo and I do a double degree of exercise science and business studies. I guess it was just really encouraged for all of the year 12 students at the school I was going to, to extend, extend on with that education and go to uni. Um, I also was involved with their Indigenous um, leadership program and they offered us scholarships throughout high school and they really, really encouraged us to transfer that over and go to uni and get a degree. So I've had a really, really challenging upbringing. Um, so just the ability to get knocked down and get knocked back and then just keep getting up and going and going again. So, and that's helped me with my uni as well. There's been times that I've failed subjects and you just don't give up. It's like, okay, I'll enrol in that again next semester and do better. I come straight from school, so I was expecting it to be really similar. So you come to class all day, you go home, you never study, life's great. You get to school, your teachers get up you for wagging class or not doing your homework. But it was so different because you're so responsible for your own work here. And if you miss class, your lecturers don't care. You just miss out on the marks. So you really have to discipline yourself and motivate yourself. So I guess for me, balancing my family and balancing my uni work has been big. So I'm from an Indigenous background. So I was brought up in like a really strong Aboriginal community naturally where there's alcohol and drug abuse and you know, mental health issues and all of that. So when I come to uni, like, that's still my culture and that's still a large part of who I am. So I found it really hard to transition into uni and leave that behind. But then at the same time, it's still a part of me, so I'm still getting dragged into a lot of it back home. So basically 70% of Indigenous students drop out of uni, um, whether that's because they feel like they don't have the support, they suffer a lot from mental health issues as well, just there's so many different reasons as to why they don't get through. So we just wanted to start like a student group where we can just create that networking environment for students where we can all get together and have fun pizza nights and study together. Um, we're raising all the funds to go to the Ind Indigenous Student University Games in Perth this year as well. Um, just putting together a NAIDOC celebration on campus. To, so it's, it's as much about us as like Indigenous students as what it is with sharing our culture with the rest of the university as well. It's changed my perspective of myself, like it's taught me that, that life's hard or that life's rocky and that there's going to be times where you need help and there's going to be times where you don't want to get out of bed or there's going to be times that you just want to cry and break down but that it doesn't matter what you're going through, you can always overcome that and work through it and there's always people that want to see you succeed and they want to see you prosper and flourish and go smash life. So, um, I don't know, I just never could have imagined me having a degree and I'm looking at, like I've just put in an application to go to an international school to do masters, an MBA at Harvard and like, I don't know, there's just no way that I could have seen this small town country girl who, you know, was pretty much homeless at 12 and just struggling with depression like through my teenagehood and like to come through uni and just excel that far. Yeah, it's been so life changing. Yeah.